Okay, so looking straight towards me. Southampton Football Club are pleased to announce that Josh Sims has penned a two and a half year deal with the club. It means the winger has committed his future to Saints until 2018. I'm delighted to, uh, to sign for three more years. Um, I'm happy also that the club have given me faith and hopefully I can repay them. What do you want to, to do in those three years? Um, well, first and foremost, I think uh, this season I really want to nail, nail a place down in the under-21s, um, show the first team staff what I can do and then see where that takes me really. Obviously the, the aim is to get into the first team, but uh, under-21s is my step at the moment. Just tell me about that because, as you said, this is your first year up at development squad level. How have you found that transition from under-18s football? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a big step, really. But um, I was lucky enough to have a sort of taster last season. Um, so I, I know what it's like um, and I know the standard I need to get to. But it's definitely a good, it's a good standard and uh, hopefully I can impress this season. You've had a couple of knocks this season, which I guess has been quite frustrating for you. Yeah, it is. Um, start of the season, I uh, had to get my place in the team because a couple of older boys were playing. But then... Um, I got a knock to my knee, I was out for a couple of weeks, but the, the run of the games, I was quite lucky because I only missed one of the games, but uh, but yeah, I'm back now, so hopefully I can impress. Obviously you came back into the team at the start of this week, which I guess is a bit of mixed emotions because it's good to be back in the squad, but a bad result for you guys. Yeah, definitely, mixed emotions was definitely how it come out. Um, like you said, I, I was happy to be back playing again. Um, I think I, I played the most I could do, uh, fitness-wise, um, but yeah, unfortunately the, the, the game didn't go out as the boys wanted to, but we'll go again at Tottenham on Monday. As you said, another game coming up Monday. A good chance to, to bounce back from that result. Yeah, well, we've done our, our preparation for the game. We've got training on Sunday. Um, but yeah, boys will be looking to bounce back. Tell me a little bit about your journey with the club. Obviously, you've been here for a long time now. You're still obviously a, a young lad, but like many of people of your age, you've been here for a long time. You've kind of grown up with the club. Yeah, I've been here a long time now. Um, I've really enjoyed every, every year I've been here. Um, I think I've progressed every year. Um, but yeah, I've been here a while and I've I've played with a lot of the boys for a while, so it's it's good to grow up together and it's it's good to see the boys all progressing well. Obviously, you've seen a few of your mates starting to make that that breakthrough into the first team. Now you mentioned it at the start how your priority is certainly establishing yourself at under twenty one level, but I guess you've got that dream now of, of progressing into senior level. Yeah, it shows that a lot of the boys who have gone up into the senior level and done well, so it shows that there is definitely that that pathway there, and it, it makes you want to more determined to, to do it when you see the players around you uh, progressing up. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely a good aim to get to. And you do get a regular chance to, to interact with the first-team coaches as well. You've trained with them in the past and they always come down to watch the under-21s game. So I guess that gives you the, the real encouragement that you're not always very far away. Yeah, exactly. You don't feel isolated at all. Even around the training ground, uh, the first-team staff and players are always around. So it's not like uh, the 21s are a separate group. Um, like you said, the, the staff are always watching the game. So if you impress, you definitely get the chance. So.